Hey everybody, it's Scott here from the Gear Rules channel and earlier this year I did an overview of this Ivation Easy Bed mattress. In that video I went over some basic specs, I showed you what it looked like when it was actually inflating and deploying out as well as deflating and what it took to get back inside the box so to speak. And in that video I promised you all a review, so let's do it. So jumping into things, let's talk about what we're going to be covering today. I'm going to start out with a few basic specs just to tell you guys a little bit of background. Then we're really going to be hitting on my pros and cons list and ending with my final thoughts. I'm going to be leaving timestamps for that down below. So if you want to skip ahead to any part, you can do that. If you're looking for any videos on what this thing looks like as it's inflating and deflating and storing, I covered all that in my first video earlier this year. So I'll be leaving links for that below as well as where you can go to actually find this thing and purchase it if you decide you want to go that route. Last thing I'll say before we get into it is if you like this video, please show some love by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to see other things that I have going on. It really helps out this channel, helps me make content that helps keep you all informed. So let's go ahead and get into the Ivation Easy Bed review. All right, so before we get into the very important pros and cons list, I have a few specs that I think are most important and should be talked about. The rest of the stuff you can just read on the product description. So this thing weighs a little over 40 pounds. If you have two people, there's handles on both sides, super easy to handle. If you have one person, it's still pretty doable, especially because there are wheels on one side, so it's easy to kind of roll around. Definitely not a problem handling with one person. Just it's a little bit larger, so it might be a a little bit cumbersome. The next thing I'll mention is depending on the size of mattress you get, it has a different capacity. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. This is a queen, so its capacity is 450 pounds. Just something to know. Now it does come with a dual layer PVC material, which is supposed to be super durable. Uh, we'll talk more about that later, but I haven't had any problems with the material deflating or, you know, leaking in any way, shape or form. Now, I should say there are two tiers to this mattress. There's the standard and then there's the deflate defender. On both of the mattresses, they both have an auto shut off pump, which works really well. It'll auto shut off when it's inflating and reaches a certain pressure, it'll stop pumping. And when you're deflating, when it knows that it's all the air has been sucked out, it'll also stop pumping, which is super nice to like kind of turn it on and walk away and go grab sheets or whatever. Now, if you have the deflate defender, there's a secondary pump, which is very quiet. And it's meant for if you lose pressure in the middle of the night, let's say someone goes up and goes to the bathroom, it'll quietly turn on and refill the mattress so that you don't wake up in the middle of the night and your mattress is you know, sunk or significantly leaked. I'll now deflate the mattress to let you listen to the deflate defender. So that's the deflate defender, but we'll talk more about that in the pros and cons list. The next thing I'll talk about is I ran a little study on the inflate deflate times. So to deploy the mattress from fully compact all the way to fully deployed, it takes a minute and 51 seconds, which is pretty nice. And then to deflate it fully, it takes a minute and 38 seconds. Just some data for you. Now, as I get into my pros and cons list, let me give you some perspective on some numbers. We had 12 different guests and 50 total nights of people staying on this bed. So that'll really help, you know, give you an idea on how it can handle a lot of usage as I'm talking about my pros and cons list. Speaking of which, let's talk about my pros and cons list, starting of course, as always with the positive and I actually broke the pros up into two categories, pros for the host and pros for the guest or user. So starting out with the pros for the host, I think some of them are pretty obvious since you're watching this video, you know a little bit about this. One pro is that it can pack into this nice little compartment that has wheels. So not only is it stored nice and neat, but you can actually transport it and kind of store it away 
into a closet or into a corner and it's kind of out of your hair, the next time you need to use it, you can just roll it out. So that is really, really nice. The other pro that I think is important to mention for the host is it deploys automatically. So not only can you turn on the pump and walk away because the pump has an auto shut off, but it actually expands out and basically makes the bed for you. You don't have to like, for traditional air mattresses, roll it out and kind of you know prep it as it's inflating. Really like that feature. It also auto deflates for yourself, but you do kind of have to roll it back in once it's fully deflated. So that part's not fully automatic. Now for the pros for the user, I think there's a couple important ones. One of which, unlike pretty much all air mattresses, unless you get like a really jumbo one, is it sits at a standard bed height. And I think that's important because it doesn't feel like you're sitting on an air mattress where your, your guests are crawling around on the ground. You basically just, it just feels like a normal bed. Um, and sometimes people don't even notice that they're on an air mattress, which is really cool. The other pro that I'll mention for the guest is it is really comfortable mattress. A lot of my guests have said that they had a great night's sleep and no problems whatsoever actually sleeping on this. I also thought it was pretty comfortable. There is one comfort thing which I'll talk about in the cons, but overall a very comfortable mattress. Speaking of cons, let's go ahead and get into my cons list and I have three major cons. The first of which, which I kind of mentioned in my very first video, is although this thing kind of compacts nicely, actually getting it to fully zip is kind of a pain in the butt. It's much easier if you have two people and as you get to use this over and over, you get better at it and I think it kind of breaks in. But it is a little bit annoying, especially when you're trying to get the zipper down on the bottom. Not a huge con, but it is a slightly annoying part of the mattress. The second one that I have to mention is it is kind of pricey. So $400 about, depending on the size that you get, which is really three times the cost of any other air mattress, but you know, it's, you're weighing the pros and cons on this versus a standard air mattress. This one has to last a lot longer, and so far it's held up over a year and no problem. So that's a good thing to know. Now, if you wanna save some money, in my opinion, the Deflate Defender is not worth the extra small fee that comes with it. The secondary pump doesn't seem to do all that much, so I don't typically use it. I usually just inflate, deflate. It holds air pretty much all night, and then I can go ahead and reinflate it the next day if it needs it. So definitely that price tag is a con. Now the last time that I will mention, and someone actually mentioned this in my other video in the comments, is there's a lot of divots in this mattress because of the way, you know, it's not resting on the ground, it needs to rest on a cage. They have to have some like coils in the mattress to keep it nice and sturdy, but that creates those divots. And we get around it by putting a couple of blankets on it or like a you know, bed cover to kind of add some squishiness and reduce the size of the divots. But I do find when you're laying on it with nothing on it, you kind of have to like find a good laying position and the divots are there. But all of my guests have told me that they've slept very well on it, so kind of have to take that with a grain of salt. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it made you more informed before you made your purchase. Please put some comments and questions down below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And I also love to hear what other people's thoughts are on the EasyBed mattress. So we're gonna catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, take care.